All right, y'all. Good morning. <clears throat> we are going to do more of the same that we were doing the other day. Uh, one, it was a lot of fun. Two, I wanted to see if I could expand, I guess, how I was doing that. And so we're in a different, we're in a different section of the river. It's a, it's going to be a long sweeping inside bend, but I wanted to hit this, uh, all this point here. There, there is a lot of activity on this point. Let me spotlight this boat because we're kind of going over it. <clears throat> and uh, so I wanted to, I wanted to hit this point and then see what I couldn't do here. See if we can't replicate what we did the other day. Maybe get more bigger fish. We're out here quite a bit early. Uh, my dad actually caught me bait yesterday, so that worked out pretty well. So I didn't have to worry about that this morning. Now, the only thing I'm doing different is the last trip I was using this, this six-aught triple threat hook, which it did the trick. I mean, I can't say nothing about it. So I'm moving to a, an eight-aught triple threat hook, which in comparison, you know, you can kind of see the, you can kind of see the difference in them. So, I mean, I may have to move back to this. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we'll just see the caliber of fish, how many bites we get without hookups. But if we end up getting a, you know, we end up hanging into another 50 pounder, you know, I would feel a lot more comfortable or confident with a little bit bigger hook. So that's, that's kind of my thinking on that. But we're going to bump down through this because again, there's there's no current now. We got that. We, we do have the wind kind of working with us today. I don't know how long that's going to last because you know it, the last all few trips the wind's been out of the south southwest. Or I say south. It's been out of the west southwest. So that when it when the when we get a strong wind from the west, it's almost like it just kind of pushes you up river. So it's just one of them. One of the things we'll have to work with. Oh, and I was going to tell you next video, and I forgot to do that. <clears throat> now, what I do, and 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 if, like if you watch the last video, you'll see that you know my my uh, sinker line got. I mean, it was just getting all kinds of tangled up in this. What I do is obviously you know my my leader line is just a regular clear uh, Berkeley you know big game. This is sixty pound test. Well, I run. A 30 pound test for my weight right so that way if it gets hung up it could, it could break off easy but i also run a different color so basically when this is all tangled up it's just easy to identify you know the two lines from each other that makes it a little bit easier to get untangled because you will get tangled up it's just that's just all i mean that's just going to happen it's going to get tangled up it's going to get wrapped around especially you get a fish on there that just kind of twists and twirls and all that stuff it's just going to happen so just a little, just a little tip on that. <clears throat> but yeah, there's, there is a bunch of activity down there. And uh, bait today, I got nothing but bluegill. Well, I say nothing but bluegill, but I got bluegill, and I got, uh, got two little drum. But I think I'm gonna start off with a little bluegill chunk, because <clears throat> that seemed to be the ticket yesterday, and we'll see what this current does for us. If, if we even get any current today, that's kind of still up in the air. But I'm just going to go just slightly bigger pieces today. Just slightly bigger pieces. I'm not going to go much bigger than what I was running the other day. <clears throat> but I'm hoping with this, this ADOT hook, it's not going to be a problem. I don't think it will be, but you know, you never know. So nothing, nothing really different than what I was doing the other day, except for <clears throat> we're just gonna so I don't know. I would sure love to be able to just push this boat backwards.
Yeah, we're just steadily going over fish. They are not in the mood to eat right now. I mean, I'm sure we'll come across the hungry one, but all oh, that just kind of sucks when they just, you can see them down there and they're just sitting there. I know I'm coming right over top of some of them, but it's just a timing thing. It's just time of day, and it, it's been that way for a long time. You'd think there'd be a, you know, a good morning bite or something like that, but that has not been the case. Don't typically start getting bit till like 10, 11 o'clock. It's just now 7.30, so I guess we got a while. I mean, not saying we won't run across the hungry one first thing, but it hasn't been that way for a while. It's kind of weird. God dog it. Them old fish, they just hit it and they, they'll come up with it. You just don't know if they're still there or not. Well, that's two bites so far down the stretch. It's not too bad. There we go. There we go. That's how I like them to hit it. <laughs> Just take it and go. That's how I like it to hit it. Caught me completely off guard. <laughs> what did? Yeah, you are. Got dog. Settle down, buddy. That's interesting. He got the hook, went through his lip, and then somehow wrapped around the leader line again. How did you manage that, buddy? Easy, easy. Heck yeah. Good way to start the day. Yeah, that's a good way to start the day. Again, we're, I mean, he is just tuned up. All right, buddy, I appreciate that. Thank you for getting the skunk out of the boat. I mean, he just flat smacked it. That's how I like him to hit it. All right, let me get another chunk of bluegill here. All right, let's get back down there. I think we can't do that again. Cool, we found us a good one first. Well, an aggressive one first thing. We're getting ready to come by this log here. Like I said, there's a, there's a lot more structure along this bank. And we're just gonna, we're gonna bump through it the best we can. Try to get as close as we can to that structure. Maybe pull out a good one. You know, you never know. Could be one just laying there next to it, just chilling. Oh yeah, that is called hung up, y'all. Yep, that is called hung up. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's that's fishing structure. That is going to happen for sure. There 
we go. Heck yeah. Yeah, I seen he was up he was up above it. I think he went shooting down for it. I could see him on the God I like it when they smack it like that. Yeah, I like it when they smack it like that. Come here, buddy. Thank you, sir. Heck yeah. Man, I like it when they smack it like that. <laughs> but it was up above it. That was kind of funny. Okay, another decent one. Yeah. All right, well, that's fish. That's fish number two. Nothing wrong with that. Ah, bite's so much fun, y'all. Got him. Oh, and he come off. <laughs> Chalk it. Gosh, dang it. Well, that'll happen. I don't think he was a big one anyway. But it was a fish. Let's get back down there. See a couple more fish down there too. Dang it. There we go. If we just stay pinned, we'll be all right. Oh, and he got off. No way. Ah, oh, short striking fish, y'all. They just think. Again, it's a timing deal, which I know. I know, I know. Gosh, dog. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I thought we had that one hooked up, but we did not. Well, that's all right. Where's one? Are you gonna stay hooked up? Are you gonna stay hooked up, buddy? I didn't even see that one on my graph. Must be tangled up because he ain't doing nothing. Yeah, that's, that's about what I figured. He was. Easy, easy. Well, they're liking them heads. Every time I put a head on, I get bit pretty quick. Heck yeah, buddy. There we go. Perfect. I appreciate you cooperating. Heck yeah, buddy. I appreciate that. Thank you. There we go. It'd be a little bit harder to see if, you know, if I was using the same color lines. Get him back down there. Yeah, that's the, I think that's the second or third head. As soon as I put it down there, man, it, it gets bit pretty quick.
Ooh, there we go. Oh, he come off? No way. God, I thought he still had it. You dog. They are just ripping up this head. I got one more little spot where I can hook it. There we go. You dog. Well, he thumped it pretty dang good. But apparently not good enough because he didn't get the hook. There we go. God, dog, that was pulling drag too. That was quick. I just barely seen him on the graph. Now, if he could just stay hooked up, that would be even better. I just barely saw him on the graph and the rod took off. <laughs> I don't think he's a monster, but he sure hit like one. Oh yeah, he ain't bad. He ain't bad, he needs a hit on this one. Yeah, kind of where I thought they'd be, right on the tip of this point here. God. Yeah, not a monster, but the biggest one of the day so far. Oh yeah, he was hooked good. I didn't think he was hooked all that well. The reason why I netted him. Heck yeah, buddy. I appreciate that. Look at this dude. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, that's a good looking fish right there, y'all. Heck yeah. Right on the end of this point, like I figured he'd be. Yeah, you, you dang sure bit harder than that, but that's cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> that's awesome. I like it when they just smack it and start instantly pulling drag. <clears throat> so we will bump this body section and see what happens. <clears throat> I was thinking about moving, going somewhere else. But we got pretty good looking water up ahead of us. We may just keep on going. I mean, I can, I can catch little ones pretty much anywhere as I could any other place, so. Considering that's kind of what we're targeting, and maybe hopefully work in with work in a bigger one. God, talk! Oh, and he come off! My lord! And he come off! Gosh, dog! Yeah, he smacked it pretty dang good. Oh, he come off. No, he didn't. Unless he come back and got it. 
Yeah, he must have come back and got it. Because he come off. Wow, I seen there was two of them down there, so I figured one of them would grab it. <laughs> yeah, he must have come back and got it. That's the only thing that makes sense. Buddy, I appreciate that. Heck yeah, I think these bites are better than the actual fish, but it's still a lot of fun. Heck yeah, still a lot of fun. Oh, it's standing up, what? Stiffens my back. Yeah, we just gonna keep on going. Heck yeah, I tell you what, like I said, them. <laughs> this is so much fun but their bites are just as almost better than you know the fish because the bites are just so vicious and then you pull up a you know eight pound blue that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of disappointing but the point is we're we're out here uh, i'm out here having fun having a good time catching these fish because targeting big fish trying to drag right now uh, you know doing all that other stuff is kind of i'm not going to say pointless I, I could go out and probably try to find one i guess if i if i wanted to but it'd be an awful lot of work for something that may or may not pay off because these fish are just so much in a funk right now so basically what i'm doing is i'm targeting nothing but a uh, active fish which we just come across them right there but I'm just targeting nothing but active fish. So, and it's a lot of fun. Like I've said, I know I've said it a hundred times, but it is a lot of fun. Especially today, cause you know, they're, they're hitting it quite a bit better today. I mean, I know I still miss some, you know, some did come off, whatever, but but they are definitely hitting harder today than they were yesterday. Well, they, they started hitting it pretty good towards the end of the day yesterday. All right, we're gonna move. We're gonna go hit that, get around that point there, come around that point. There is just no way we come through all that and didn't catch a single fish that night I just ain't seen any fish up there so that tells me that this is bona fide dead water so let's go we're gonna go back and go to that point and just kind of come around that point see what happens all right y'all that is going to be a wrap to this trip we went uh <laughs> man i'll tell you what it was it was pretty tough it's like all at once all at once it just seems like these fish just quit i'm i'm rolling over fish but i noticed that i don't see near as many uh because you know before i was watching them come up you know i could see them on the graph when they come up and for about the last hour and a half i haven't seen none of that and for the last hour and a half we've been coming over fish and not getting a single bite so that tells me that the feeding window is now over which is good like i said it's it's getting it's getting miserable out here it's getting hot i mean we come out here for a few hours we didn't do too bad you know about what i expected i mean i'd have really loved to caught another 50 pounder but you know i guess you can't catch them every trip uh but yeah, it was all right. You know, I come out here with the with the anticipation of oh, doing the same thing I did the other day, and uh, and it worked out. I tried a different section of river. Uh, that was the only thing I noticed that there wasn't as much activity as like the other end uh, where we fished uh, the last trip. So I don't know. I want to expand on this. It's kind of neat catching them that way. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping. That next week brings better weather. I, I, that's what I'm hoping. But uh, it is what it is. We caught a few fish. We had some fun. 
Uh, I'll get back out here and I'm, I'm probably gonna do this again, but again, I'm just gonna expand an area. So when the, when the bike quit, I went over to that side and I was fishing some shallow, shallow structure, absolutely nothing over there. And uh, so then I went further down this way and I fished some deep holes, absolutely nothing. I was like, well, heck with it. I'll just come back to where I had the most bites. And that's where we just come through and absolutely nothing. Like I said, I can see them on the graph, but they're just, they're just chilling. They're not eating. Uh, every now and again, you'll, you'll see them come up and they'll move around, but I can't get them to bite. So I think the, their eating time is pretty much done. Yeah, I could probably come out here this evening, you know, and probably catch some more. Uh, but like I said, it's just getting to that point of the day where it's just too stinking hot. Uh, this breeze feels okay, just like the other day, but it's just hot. It's just a hot breeze, so it just makes it even more miserable. But either way, we're going to continue doing this, I think, for a little while till these, till these fish start getting a little bit more aggressive. Uh, or until we start getting current. I mean, we just need rain in the worst way because we have had zero current all day, and that plays a big role. Uh, whether these how or how these fish bite and when they bite so uh, It is what it is. But anyway, like always I appreciate you watching this one. And I catch you on the next one